Hi, I'm Vicki. And I'm Joanne. Welcome to our kitchen. If you love monkey bread, you're going to love our caramel breakfast wreath. It has a secret ingredient that makes it taste absolutely delicious. To find out what it is, let's get started. The night before, sprinkle half the chopped pecans in a bundt pan that's already been sprayed with vegetable spray. Take the frozen white dinner rolls, keep them already frozen, and go ahead and place them in your bundt pan. Here's the secret ingredient butterscotch pudding mix. It'll melt with the butter and the sugar and just give it a really good flavor. Make sure you use the cook and serve kind, not the instant. And all we'll do is just sprinkle the entire box right over the bread. Our next step is the yummy part. We're going to go ahead and mix the brown sugar with the butter. We're going to stir it up and then we're going to pour it over our frozen bread dough rolls. Okay, the last step, we're going to sprinkle the remaining chopped pecans over the top and then we're going to place it in a cold oven overnight to rise. We've got one already here that's already risen. So look mm. how beautiful it is. It's puffed it's up. Great. Doesn't it's it look gorgeous. terrific? Yes. We've got the oven preheating at 325 degrees. So when the oven is nice and warm, we're going to go ahead and pop it in for about 30 minutes. We've taken it out of the oven, let it cool just a little bit, and then we inverted it onto this platter. Is it gorgeous or it's what? It's beautiful. Look how moist it is. It looks delicious. Oh my it's gosh. easy to make. I can't wait to test it. Yeah, are you ready? Yeah, let's go okay. ahead and just pull it apart. Let's be casual okay. here and give it a try. Oh, this is a big piece. Hmm, this not figure. <laughs> Somehow that always happens. Well, look how big it is. I'm kind of embarrassed. Well, why don't you break it now? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> let's give it a try. Okay. Oh my goodness. It's mm. it's sweet without being too overly sweet. Do I have it on my lips? Yes, but I'm not gonna tell you. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is really good. I would even like a little cinnamon mm -hmm. sprinkled in there. That it's would be good. It's got a nice crunch to it. Mm -hmm. And you know, I think you could use mm. vanilla pudding instead of the butterscotch. Look at that. This you adds could. a beautiful color no reason and flavor. You mm -hmm. I think there are all different kinds of ways you could try it. Mm. Remember, we have thousands more recipes on our website at gooseberrypatch.com. So be sure to let us know if you try the recipe. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.